All right, everybody. Um, today's video is going to be on my Nexus 7, and as a lot of you may know or may not know, uh, a new uh, stock uh, operating system has been released for this, which is still Jelly Bean, but it's Jelly Bean 4.1.2. And they have some updates that they've put into it. Um, right now, uh, the way you'd have to install it, if you want to install it through your OTA update, you'd have to get your device, if it's rooted and, ha and uh, unlocked and all those kind of things, you'd have to get it all back on stock so that you could take the OTA update. Um, so there's a couple things that have changed in the update. Uh, one of them is your rotation. You can actually rotate in here. Uh, this ROM doesn't do it, but you'd be able to rotate and actually have your whole screen rotate there. Um, that's an update in uh, in in this new uh, update here. Uh, the other thing is your boot your boot image has been updated. So I actually don't really want any of the other features right now um, off of this update except for the boot image. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install just the boot image and where to get it. And, and I'll show you why I want to install the boot image. So if you're in a custom ROM like I am, this is codename Android. Uh, basically, you're going to power off and go reboot and hit reboot recovery and get into recovery. Um, I am running twerp recovery. You can also use like ROM manager to get into reboot into recovery or um, any of those other applications like that to reboot you into recovery mode. Um, so Twerp's going to open up here for me uh, and I'm going to show you how to uh, install the boot image. Uh, recommended before you do this is to go ahead and make an Android backup just in case something goes wrong. Uh, you can still get into your Android and uh, fix things. So the first things I do is do the backup like I said. Swipe for a backup. I already did one. Uh, next, you're going to go to wipes. I just do this. I don't think you really have to, but I like to do it just, in, just to be safe. Is wipe etch, or cache, I should say. Go back. And then Delvic. Back. Alright, so then we're going to go back again and do install. And then you want to know where your, um, your uh, boot image is located at. What you're actually looking for is this file right here. It is JZO54K dash bootloader zip and that will flash a new boot image for you so you just hit it and then you flash it and reboot system so I'll show you the benefit of this new boot image in a second here first we're gonna boot up and then uh, with your old boot image you can't actually enter recovery from the bootloader uh, and that is the biggest issue with the old boot image. Um, with the new boot image, now you can do it, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's just let this thing finish booting. I'm going to shut it down, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Also, as you can see, guys, um, we're going to go through the Android upgrading process because we wiped cache and Delvet cache. So let it go through this process on first boot up. You also might get some flashes of your screen, like it's doing a boot loop. But just be patient. I think it flashed like at least twice for me uh, first time I did it. So uh, just be patient on that, let this thing upgrade and let it boot up. Alright, so we uh, just booted up. So I'm not going to let the this load up. So what the new bootloader does is, let me show you, we're going to shut down, power off. Okay, so let's say you have a problem, you boot loop, you, you break the device, something's going on, um, and you're not near your computer. Okay, the old bootloader, you could access your uh, recovery by plugging in with the USB cable like this one, um, and then you could go into bootloader mode and, and, and get to it. But you had to be plugged into a cable for some reason, it was some glitch in the bootloader. Okay, now that you have this, if you boot loop or something when you're out or you're doing something, you don't have to be near a computer. So all you got to do is um, hold down your power, and, or both your volume buttons and your power button. Okay, now we're in bootloader mode, and then you scroll with your volume buttons, and you go down to recovery mode, and then you hit power. Okay, before right here, this thing would just like freeze up or it would stick or it would just reboot your device. Now, with the new bootloader installed, we actually open up recovery as you can see here. So, basically, you have a recovery system that can recover from a, a brick or a boot loop without any cable. 
that's the only real feature that I really wanted from this update and they gave it to us so I'm really happy about it and that's how you install it you just flash that boot uh, bootloader zip and bam you're you're uh, you're good to go and now you can get into your recovery if you brick your device without being plugged into a computer so uh, that's pretty much it also guys if you want I'm gonna put a link in this video for um, stock Android 2.1.2 or I'm sorry 4.1.2 um, which is the release you won't have to go through that going back to stock to do the update you can just flash this stock image in twerp recovery or clockwork mod recovery and you will go to stock it'll already be rooted um, and you'll be running their their um, kernel and all that kind of stuff from the new release and if you do this bootloader also you'll be basically rooted with the new update so I will put a, a link to that in the video. Um, so I hope you guys like this. And like I say, this is how to do some of the, the basically do the update without returning back to stock to do it. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up on it. And uh, keep watching. I have many more Nexus videos in my uh, uh, playlist. So check them out. And as always, thanks for checking it out. Thanks, guys.